Hello everybody, it's Aaron, and welcome to another episode. I know it's been quite a while. I haven't had a lot of free time, but I've got some freed up for the foreseeable future, so I figured since Wook and the boys fired up a crack pack server, I'd give it a whack and uh, see what this thing is all about. I don't know if we're going to do any PvP, maybe at some point. But uh, for right now, the mobs are hard, hard enough. So, um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I really haven't done anything. As you can see, I'm still just using stone tools. I impose a rule on myself that uh, I only use Tinker's tools now. Uh, except for like the vanilla hoe and stuff like that. Because to my knowledge, there is no Tinker's equivalent. Um... Luckily, there is a witch spawner circle thing. Uh, you can't really see it on the surface there. Uh, I'm over by Wook's base, and the place I, I'm set up at isn't too far away. Um, but I have been able to get some redstone uh, without having anything higher than stone tools. Uh, so that's going to come in really handy. Uh, I haven't done a lot of mining, and I haven't mined anything that I can't do uh, with this stone pick or hammer. Uh, I don't even know what's happening out here. I have a feeling if I open this door, I'm gonna die. Uh, so I'm probably gonna wait till morning. And then, um, then we'll get it on. My plans for this are, um, I want to make a smeltery this episode. And first and foremost, make, um, either an iron probably an iron pick head uh, so I can get the diamonds and stuff. Uh, then I want to make an igneous extruder so that uh, we can make some obsidian and then go to alumite uh, because that'll that'll mine just about anything to my knowledge. So I hear these guys guy these guys dying as soon as they uh, thin out a little bit I'll go ahead and um, run over to my base. And I'm already smelting up the grout and stuff, so we should have some seared bricks ready to go. Um, I've been playing some of the challenge maps like uh, Crash Landing and Agrarian Skies. So it kind of changed uh, the way I play a little bit. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have um, Ex Nihilo, so I can't do any uh, any of that stuff. But uh, that's okay. So let me see if I can get rid of some of these guys without dying. They're pretty tough. Uh, they most of them have armor, and then um, there's a chance when you kill them that their head falls off and the head attacks you. Uh, silverfish are everywhere, and they're quite the pain. So. Uh, let me take care of these guys, and I'll meet you uh, over at my base in just a minute. Well, I got out of there. Unfortunately, somebody set it tonight as soon as I came out the door. I don't know why, uh, but um, I'm just going to try to get away without dying. We do have gravestones, which is good. But... Um, I don't exactly live right around the corner, so I may end up going <laughs> all the way around this thing, which is not that big of a deal. I just don't want to die again. The mobs are pretty tough. Yeah, we'll just we'll just go around here. I know I said I'd meet you at my base, but uh, this is probably okay. Some lightning struck the uh, oil over here, and I'm not sure if I want to go pump it all out to get rid of the fire or what. Uh, but you can see on the mini-map there's a triangle you're going to start seeing on the left side there. That is where I've been living. And I made it one block off the water so no mobs can come up because uh, they are quite quite a nuisance, to put it mildly. 
Okay, here we are. Uh, I don't really know what I was thinking when I made this. Uh, this was an island, and I thought, you know, let's make um, let's make something triangular. So all I've really done is um, I planted a few trees, made the path. I've got a three by three mine shaft, and I was just lucky enough to find a big lava pool down here at the end of this one. So I think I'll just put the smeltery there uh, temporarily until we can uh, tesseract the lava to it or find some other power source to uh, process the ores in some machines at some point. Uh, but the smeltery is definitely the way to go in the beginning, especially since, like I said, I only only use Tinker's tools. So let's put some of this stuff away. I'm not going to have enough room for all of it in these chests, but that's all right. So let's grab these, and we'll grab this, and we've already got a bucket of lava here. And let's put on some pants. And then we'll go set this thing up. Uh, we'll make sure to bring a crafting table. And we're going to need some ores. Uh, what are we going to need? Aluminum and copper, I believe, to make the aluminum brass. And let's go ahead and bring some redstone and smooth stone. So we can make a redstone clock once we get down there. I don't have enough smooth stone for that right now. Uh, we'll cook. Oh, yeah, I do. Here we go. All right. So this is probably fairly elementary for a lot of you. Uh, but uh, this is how I play. So this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, I want to get into um, mechanism because there's a lot of new stuff since the last time I played it. Uh, some some of you may have seen that in uh, live stream in uh, TP, TPPI, I believe. Uh, but they've added a lot of stuff, so I want to get into that. I want to make a bunch of guns and stuff from, uh, what is it, Flans mod, I guess. And I want to make some laser guns and um, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Let me just find a good place to put this thing. I keep finding more aluminum while I'm doing this, which I guess is good, but I don't want to cover it all up just yet with the smeltery. Yep, there they are, see? Little bastards. Uh, I've been, normally I mine with a bucket of water in case I hit lava and need to extinguish myself. But I've traded that for a bucket of lava so I can kill the stupid silverfish. Let's just get this tin. Man, there's just too much good stuff down here. Alright, how about we just... Uh... Man... And I'm lagging as well, which is never good. All right, maybe we can get something done. If I had a better sword and a sword that wasn't broken, it would probably be a little more beneficial. <laughs> All right, so we will um, we'll put our smeltery here. Damn it! I missed him again. I don't know if that's frame lag or what, but it happens to me quite frequently, and it happens even when I'm not recording. So. It might just be something I have to deal with. 
All right, smeltery goes here. More than likely, at some point, I will um, get myself access to another side. But for right now, I think this will this will do the trick. And I don't really need this amber, so I'm just going to let it break as soon as it happens. It takes a little while. So this is going to be a very, very basic, probably a one level smeltery. And then what I'll do uh, afterward is I will put some cobblestone in there and make seared bricks and then I made all that it only gave me one. Oh, there we go okay uh, I'll make some seared brick or uh, seared stone rather and expand it because I don't really feel like hunting for clay and stuff alright so what are we gonna need? We're gonna need one of these. Hopefully I have enough. I'm pretty sure I need glass, which I didn't bring either. Uh, let's put the controller here. We'll put the tank in the middle. And then we'll do bricks on the side here. I probably don't have enough. I don't. That figures. All right, let me uh, let me hunt down a little more clay, and I'll get some glass. I'll come back down. We'll finish this thing off, and um, then we'll get rocking. So I'll be right back. All right, I think we should be good to go. I went ahead and made the drain and the tank. So let's um, go back down here, make this thing work, and then I'll call it an episode. And then between now and the next episode, I'm basically just going to do a bunch of mining, uh, resource gathering, probably process a lot of the ores I get, and um, then we'll start looking at, um, you know, what mods add what machines and such, and then uh, go from there. So let's see, our tank will go here. I forgot to make the little spout. I'm so used to using um, using liquiducts. But either way, uh, what we can do is, I think it's um, a couple of aluminum and a copper. While that's cooking up, I'll run back upstairs and grab a couple more bricks. That's the only drawback to having this thing down here. More than likely what I'll do after the episode is actually, since I'm going to be mining and stuff, I'll uh, make a couple iron chests and move all the stuff downstairs uh, so that uh, we don't have to run back and forth. And I can mine the lead and stuff that uh, Stone Pick won't mine. There are a bunch of diamonds I've already uncovered. I was just waiting to record an episode so I could do this stuff and then um, mine them afterward. Alright, so we're going to need something to make a pattern. I went ahead and made um, patterns, not patterns, um, stone parts so I can... Um, make my casts for the other ones and this will be just a minute because aluminum always smelts um, <clears throat> faster than copper okay we've got four aluminum brass I think that'll make me four casts so what we'll do first is we'll make the ingot cast and then we'll make one for each of the tool parts and then a blank one and then by the next episode, I want to be able to make a hammer. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that um, in between the episodes or not. Uh, I'll probably wait. All 
All right. Uh, actually, first, what we can probably do is um, I'll go ahead and make the pick, and then what I usually do is I'll uh, either put a hopper underneath this or use an item duct to pull the ingots out into a chest and um, just dump a bunch of them in there and then just let it go, making sure to avoid putting two, uh, uh, two ores that will turn into an alloy. So basically all the silver ores, aluminum, lead, tin, iron, silver, uh, in, in the smeltery at a time, and then like gold, ferrous, copper, uh, they go together as well. So I think I'll just go ahead and end it here. Uh, I'm going to make my, um, my tool parts and put them together and then, um, set up my little redstone clock and do a bunch of ore gathering and processing and then hopefully we will be able to build some machines uh, as soon as the next episode uh, so thank you very much for watching if there's any mods in this pack that you guys uh, are interested in because i don't really know what's in the pack uh, i'm just kind of getting into it uh, leave me a comment and um, i'll check out you know your suggestions uh, if it seems interesting to me so again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.